What's up, Virgo? Welcome to BMHP, where we are getting ready to build up this foundation to your relationship. See what's been going on with you, Virgs. Then um, once we build up this foundation, we'll get a couple of tarot decks out. We'll use my new Divine Masculine Real Talk deck after that and see what's going on with this connection. Break this connection all the way down. Dissect it. So uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and hop into this reading. Beloved, what's going on with Virg and their person? What's this the foundation of this connection, please? Thank you. Communication. Children. Work. And new love. So, Virgo, this is somebody that you want to talk to or somebody that, um, that wants to talk to you. Um, I feel like you guys have communication issues since it's at the foundation of the reading. I also feel like there could be some kids that's interfering or you guys have kids together or this person has children. But with you being a workaholic, I feel like this is your energy, Virgo. It could also be this person, but this could be somebody that's new. This could be you and your person um, revamping, refreshing, redoing your... um your connection but i feel like i feel like the one thing that matters to you right now berg is your work and your work life like you're trying to um build some type of um empire or something you're trying to um get a promotion or do something maybe it's something for your family but i definitely see that you might be in the midst of waiting for communication from a person maybe um Maybe you did talk to this person. Maybe the, the conversation, maybe this person is a little childish or plays little childish games or something like that. For, but, um, yeah, you have prosperity, intuition, and transformation. Damn. You know... What's interesting is on one hand, on your work situation, you know you're good at that. That's not a problem for you. But it's like on, on this um, love situation, you have to wear a mask or something. You could be dealing with the water sign, with this intuition card, with this face kind of being here. I'm sorry, you guys. Once I lay out more cards, you'll be able to see the cards better. But um, I don't know if you guys have arguments or fights with these two cheetahs here with their mouth open growling like that. But um, something in your intuition is definitely telling you what to do. You need to follow your intuition. Listen to your intuition, Vert. Okay. Let's see what's underneath. The, what's on the surface of this connection. What's on the surface of this connection, beloved? What's on the surface? Wrong cards. What's on the surface of this connection, please? What's the driving energy for Virgo and their person, please? What's the driving energy? Because all this across the board is the feminine energy. So it's like, I mean, is this person even still in your energy or do you have someone new that came in? So we have forgiveness and spiritual maturity. Oh my goodness, Virg. You hard on yourself. It says, I forgive myself. I am forgiven on this forgiveness card. Then you got spiritual maturity with a masculine and feminine energy walking this path into higher consciousness, right? I feel like you need to be stopped being so hard on yourself, Bird. I feel like you... um. You put in your best effort into this connection. It didn't work out for whatever reason, but it was to to bring you and this person to a higher level of consciousness, a higher level of spiritual maturity, to open your intuition, because the intuition is at the center of the reef. So I bet your intuition is more on point now than maybe it was before you kind of met this person or something like that. This person could have deceived you. I've seen that deceit card want to pop out. Let's see. What else is going on with the birds? Community. The, excuse me. <coughs> excuse me, birds. But um, with this community card, I don't know. You could be doing what work in the community or something like that. But I feel like 
I don't know if, if this person put you in a third party situation or um, if, if this person is tempted by you. It's like a woman in red here. And that woman, for some reason, st standing out to me. So this person or um, could be dealing with like a, a fire sign or you can have fire in your energy. Something about you stands out to this person, Bird. But I'm sorry at this foundation, babe. It just looks like you, you, and you. Like there's no masculine energy at the foundation of your reading. Let's see what's up. Besides the one on the spiritual maturity, the spiritual path. Maybe this person off in their spiritual journey. Okay? So for your person's deck, they got the moon. So they're hiding something. When this person comes out of the shadow, this is what comes out. This person, this little monster, this little crab, whatever this is. But this is what comes out the person. I don't even think you know this, Virg. Like the, the other side of this person, who they could be to you, to people. You guys could be a divine couple, beloved. But let's see what's going on. What's going on with the Virgs? What's in Virgo's energy regarding this person, please? What's in Virgo's energy regarding this person? What's in Virgo's energy regarding this person? I'm hearing that baby face song and I don't know why. Said I never keep a secret, girl. I never tell a lie. I want to make it up to you. Swear I'll never keep it. I only want to be with you, babe. I don't know what this energy is about. This two of swords energy. It's like this person. I don't know. Are you are you playing like this damsel in distress role? Or do you feel like a damsel in distress waiting for this person to come and rescue you or save you from, from whatever this pain and, and misery that you're going through? For? I know that sounded rough, but that's kind of what I was getting. So this person got the damn four of cups, the two of pentacles, the four of wands, the ten of cups, the two of cups, and the seven of pentacles. Uh, uh, uh. For you, Virg, you have death, the knight of cups. The Knight of Wands. Oh, shit. What's going on with these knights now, Bird? The Five of Swords. Oh, no. The Ten of Swords. And the Ace of Swords. I don't know what the hell just happened with y'all, Green Bird. But let me tell you what's going on. This person over here hiding... Ooh. Hiding hella feelings and emotions for you, Bird. It's like they, they be like, I'm going to tell Virg how I feel. I'm going to tell Virg how I feel. No, I ain't going to tell Virg how I feel. So they just sit on their ass and they don't do um nothing about it. They let you sit there and think that they don't care about you by the way they treat you and whatnot. But they think about you so much with the Seven of Pentacles energy. But they can't figure out how to tell you how they feel. They got the Two of Cups, the Ten of Cups, and the Four of um, Wands. The Two of Pentacles and the Four of Cups. They could feel like you ignoring them, Virg. Are you ignoring this person? Because you do have a death card with the king, knight of cups, knight of wands, five of swords, ten of swords, and ace of swords. And this energy up here, I feel like it was a fuck it energy. Because this five of swords energy is like somebody being mistreated in the worst way. And these knights, it's like, well, since this person want to act this way, then I'm going to go ahead and do me and do what I need to do. But I see that letting somebody in hurt, trying to move on in the wrong way. So it's like somebody's realizing, like, damn, it's not going to be easy to let this connection go. It's not going to be easy just to walk away from this person you know but it's like this person Virg, you had to go through this or something it's like you had to go through it but this five of swords energy is not cool like like look at this shit Virg. okay no and when you're dealing with a knight of wands that's probably how a person made you feel you know, but it's, it was all stemming from this energy here of how a person made you feel. But this person over here hiding their truth, Virg. For real. Because somebody, somebody is under a lot of stress and a lot of anxiety in this connection. What's at the bottom of this deck? Yeah, you guys aren't together at this time. This person somewhere stressed out. 
I don't know why they hide what they feel from you though, Virgo. But let's go ahead and get into this. Um, ooh, my bad. Let's go ahead and get into my uh, Divine Masculine Real Talk Oracles. Let's see what this person wants you to know, Virgo. What you need to know about this person. What does Virgo need to know about this person, please? What does Virgo need to know about this person, please? What does Virgo need to know about this person, please? What does Virgo need to know about this person, please? Hmm. The homies. This person and they this that community card. This person be kicking it with their homeboys. This this is what they value. This is how they hide their feelings and emotions. They may have had some police involvement or something like that, Vert, that they ain't been telling you about. Maybe they keeping secrets of the shit they've been going through, too. Because they on the block. They hugging the block with their homies and stuff. They boys. Mm. I'm not going into that energy because I... Pfft, one of their boys is snitching on them. But, um, they missing you. They missing they bitch. I'm sorry. This, this, um, Real Talk deck was made for, um, Real Talk urbanized men and women that understand this lingo. So, it's definitely for the urbanized, okay? But this person feels lost without you. They can't help themselves. How does it feel to know that I love you, baby? Some they ain't gonna tell you because they got too much damn pride and ego, Vert. They be out here acting like they be hunting, but they inbox be empty. <laughs> oh my goodness. Ain't nobody hitting their line, Virgo. But this person hurting. They ready to uh, get it in or something with you, Vert. What else does Virgo need to know about this person, please? Thank you. So, um, wherever they been at, whatever they be doing, they tired of the life they live in, they tired of lifestyle. This person also could have been um, traveling or at a distance from you, Virg, and they getting ready to come back or something. If they was out of town, yeah. Yeah, yeah, so I got a court case. But this, um, police involvement energy, whatever they was doing, they had no business doing it. But they keep reminiscing on the good times that they had with you. You guys could be from um, L.A. or something like that. Or from the um, West Coast. Your person could, could like have an old school car or something like that that they working on. They fixing or something. I'm seeing some mechanic hands. But this person been drinking. Turning into an alcoholic. Trying to drown their sorrow. Drown their pain with alcohol. Okay. Let's get some more tarot. See what else you need to know about this person. Let's try these. What else does Bird? Need to know about this person. Let me turn these this way. For the sake of room. Uh, what else does Virg need to know about this person, please? What else does Virg need to know about this person, please? Because I've been holding back all I feel. Love so real Cause I can't wait another minute I can't wait another minute Do you guys remember that song? That song is so old But they got their hermit, you bird The ace of cups and the five of pentacles They tired to hold back what the hell they feel But the thing about it is They gotta get past their ego Cause their ego is the biggest thing and their pride people be acting like it's easy for a man to um give up that ego and that pride no it ain't because that's the that's the making of a man their ego and their pride if they ain't got their ego their pride they ain't got shit what you think they were so hard for just for women no to be competitive with guys too they ego is everything yeah bro i'm doing this or yeah bro i just you know that's but um Wherever they been, Virgo, like I said, they getting ready to come back. And they might be watching and stalking you in some type of way, Virg. Because honestly, they can't, they can't let you go. They can't not heal from this connection or what they feel for you, Virg. I feel like they're being divinely guided to you in some type of way. 
they may come back and may have a gift for you or something, but I don't know. Something's keeping them from you right now, Vert. It's like it's like outside of their control. It's not like them that's keeping themselves from you. It's like something else is keeping them from you. Okay. Let's see. What else does Berg need to know about this person? What else does Berg need to know about this person? Damn, why am I out here in 5 to 10? This person could be getting 5 to 10 years. And damn, look what came up. Carriage. A journey either physically or mentally. I hope they ass ain't um, go, go, um, be doing no prison time with this court case. So, Penn, a new job or new career? So, Virg, there could be a new job, a new career coming up for you. Then the love also wants to come out because this person do. With they all fake ass. Hiding it from you. But look at your energy. But sending you through shit. They don't even know how it feels on your end. All they know is they got too much pride and ego to be um dealing with it. So, this person could be a dark man. um, Or they can have dark hair or something like that, Virg. Indecisiveness, allowing your life to ramble aimlessly. And this is this person. This person, they know how they feel, but they indecisive as hell on how to tell you or if they want to tell you. The pride and ego is the biggest thing. Oh, that's what it is. Ram, a stubborn, aggressive person. So this person is stubborn as hell, but or good luck on getting this person to move or budge. This person's got like an emperor's energy. You know, you could be dealing with the um, older dark man or something like that bird and then seahorse family matters this is the reason why they have problems expressing their love something that happened within their family unit their life something that they haven't gotten over they could have mommy or daddy issues or something like that bird oh. anyway let's get you a card go ahead and close out this reading what else does bird need to know please thank you Zero fox given. And you're cute as hell. Maybe you need to get to this point where you don't give a fuck, Bert. And, um, or give a fox. And, um, you know, know how beautiful you are and that you deserve better than someone that will hold back their emotions for you and sit there and watch you go through this, watch you. This person has to watch you for me to say that because it. Page of swords is screaming, watching, but this person watches and sees the transformation, see the difference in you, Virg, and that's what's crazy. That even though they see the difference in you, they still won't put their pride to the side. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure you hit that like and subscribe button, and I'll see you next time. Take care.